If you're planning on going out for first Friday this evening, there is a new sweet destination to check out on North Duke Street. The Lancaster Sweet Shop is excited to showcase their one of a kind treats. However, there is one thing that makes this venue stand out. They employ refugees. News 11's newest reporter Samantha Crawford had a chance to stop by. The first one notices approaching the doors of the Lancaster Sweet Shop is the aroma of chocolate and cookies as Jenny Groff and her employees prepare thousands of their famous Stroopies. The cinnamon waffle filet with a homemade caramel in the center. And traditionally the idea is you can put it on top of your hot tea or coffee. Uh, so you can come make, watch our ladies make them and um, get fresh warm ones. All of their inventory comes from local Lancaster businesses featuring some of the freshest, most delicious treats. The sweet shop is home to Groff Candies and Pineview Dairy Ice Cream. It's just a really fun place to visit and we completely renovated the space. so. Um, yeah, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Not only is the Lancaster Sweet Shop known for their delicious warm Stroopies, but also for the sweet meaning behind their production to welcome and employ refugees into the area. They were coming with so many skills and so many things to offer, but they also had a lot of challenges with learning a new language, adjusting to life in a completely new place. Suha Fidel was in Iraq before she started making Stroopies with Jenny and her husband, Jonathan Groff, two and a half years ago. I started to work for Jonathan and Jenny 2014, Sit uh, Strawberry Company, and so nice people. And help me for anything when I have appointment, when I have take my uh, daughter, give me like the date free. And I enjoyed it. <laughs> the Groffs hope they will take on management positions and launch into other careers as they get established. But to have a local product that we're making um, while helping these folks learn English and just get reestablished, this is something that the Lancaster community can really embrace and be proud of. I'm so happy for Jeannie help, help me for English class every day to work. Reporting in Lancaster, Samantha Crawford, News 11.